Hey, this is Chris with Affiliate Tube, and today we're going to be looking at Spin Rewriter. This is a tool I've been using for years, actually since 2013, to make a lot of the content that I use for my videos, for some of my blog sites, for mass page sites. Now, if it's a money site, if it's something that's going to have a lot of authority, I won't use this tool for it. I, try, I, I make more of a unique, really good content for that. But for other things, uh, Spin Rewriter works really well, and I want to take you through and show you some of the stuff you can do with it. Now, it does have a lot of features that uh, that I really don't use. I don't need them, but you might. Uh, and also, one thing that makes it so powerful is the integrations it has through its API and some of the in integrated um, services that it has with it that you can use as well. So what I want to do first, when you log in, this is what you're going to see. You're going to see your main control panel where you can start to rewrite your articles. And there's different types of membership levels you can have that, that gives you different features, different options to add more services to what you have um, with the initial purchase of the product. So what I'm going to do is come up here to my account. And you can see here, thank you for being a Lifetime Spinner Writer member. Um, let's go to Rewrite and this is where you're going to rewrite your articles and you can rewrite single articles you can rewrite multiple articles if you click this button it gives you the option to do bulk rewrite um, you can enter your articles into multiple text fields you can come down here enter one article and just continue to keep doing that and it'll re re rewrite each one of those or you can upload multiple articles in separate text files or you can upload a zip file of them so if you have hundreds or thousands of files you can upload them and rewrite them now it also has a built-in service where you can get a new article if you click fetch a new article you're going to see it uses big content search and all you have to do is type in a keyword and it's going to go to big content search it's going to pull in an article and use that so that is if you want to do the multiple articles now for a single article this is normally what I do and the only thing that I normally do when I create an article is I will go out and get content and lots of times I'll get it from easy and articles so for example if I want to do a project on joint pain or joint health uh, go to easy and articles and I would copy a couple paragraphs here a couple paragraphs there take it from multiple articles or sources I may be able to go to Google, just do some searches for some articles based on joint health or joint pain, pick out some of the paragraphs, take it, uh, paste it into here. Lots of times what I've been doing lately is to try to find more unique content and I'll do that by going to expireddomains.net and I will search for something, a, a domain related to what I want to do my uh, next project on. So if it's joint health, I'll do a, a search for joint and hopefully it'll bring back the right type of joint here and you can see it uh, here's one for joint pain symptoms and so I copied this and I went to the Wayback Machine pasted it and I went back to 2011 and this was some content to pull up for it which is great and you can double check just to make sure it's no longer in Google so unless it's been reposted it's not going to be in Google no more it's going to be 100% unique content which means for one you really don't even have to use Spin Rewriter if you don't want to because Google sees it as not even being there anymore but what I'll do is I will go here and I will copy some text and I will paste it in this box and go here and we could find another paragraph or two or how much ever content you want to use and then I could go here and find more and I've made some of my articles two to three thousand words and it'll it'll spin it it might take a couple minutes longer than what it normally would if you do something like this but it works great now you have the option it also integrates with integrates with perfect tense so if you have that it will go in and it will find it and correct all grammar and spelling issues automatically all you have to do is enter your API key here otherwise you can come down here would you like to spin your original text on paragraph and sentence level so if you want to get really, really detailed with your article, you can click this button and it gives you options here. You can see I want Spinner Writer to automatically rewrite complete sentences, entire paragraphs, or to automatically write additional paragraphs on its own, or to automatically change the entire structure of phrases 
and sentences. So this tool can it can really do some amazing things if you get in here and use these features. Um, I normally don't use this. What I normally do is I will post in or paste in the content that I want to have rewritten and I will come down here to settings and I will add any protected keywords that I don't want changed in the article here just one per line I will leave this set here as you suggestions that you believe are correct and I will click I'm feeling lucky and it's automatically just going to do everything for me so paste in the content add my keywords here click this button and I'm done it's going to go and it's going to rewrite this in the spin tax uh, content and then I can either use that spin tax content or I can create individual articles from that and use that now the other thing you can do is if you don't if you want more control over your article is you can click on start the rewriting process and when you do this it's going to go through and it's going to find all the keywords in this article that it has synonyms for and so it's going to let you go through and make these changes yourself so all you have to do is is if you just copy or um, highlight one of these words it's going to bring up and show you a lot of these other terms that can be used for it so we can go through here and we can uh, click each one we want added and you can see here it creates a spin tax for it or we can just do replace all and it's going to go through and it's going to put all of them in there now getting older you can highlight two words aging growing older and you can go through and do that through your entire article now if you don't want to do that if you want to go back and just do the one click rewrite settings which is what I was going to do earlier you would just click this button here and once again this box is going to pop up it's going to ask you you know what keywords you not want to be uh, changed you put those in there and you just click start the one click rewrite process normally this doesn't take very long at all and you can see it's already went through it's automatically made all these changes for us on its own click on continue to final step and you can see here it says your article has been successfully finalized it's also been saved to your archive which is another really great feature of spin rewriter so every article that you do is going to be saved into your archive and you can go back and reuse them or re-edit them and so here we have the article name for the archive which you can rename it uh, here's all your spin text article and then you can come down here and click generate a unique version and it's going to make one unique for you you can export it you can save it you can check it through copyscape you can fix grammar and spelling errors once again if you have perfect tense um, you can preview your article and also you can uh, integrate to WordPress if you have that option or if you upgraded to that you can just post it automatically to your WordPress blogs now we can also as you can see up here it gives us more options once we go through and do this and uh, one thing that's really neat here is you can fetch relevant vid videos and images so if we do fetch relevant videos we can do something like joint pain um, we can do that or you can enter a YouTube URL if you have your own video you want to use so for this example I just come up here I would tick the box of the video I want added insert video and then same thing with relevant images fetch images and we can do I don't know let's just do this one and insert images and it puts these in here and of course you know once we have this article um, we can we can change stuff around we can uh, cut it whoops and we can repaste it somewhere else if we want to so if we don't like them being together here so for the video what I'm going to do is actually put that at the top of the article and then we can preview it you can see down here you got your video you got some content an image and some more of your content and so really that's all there is to it uh, the process is really simple if you're ready to rewrite another article just to show you how quick it can be just go to rewrite get your content wherever you get it from paste it in your box I want to delete the easy article link go to settings make sure if there's any keywords protected you add them and click I'm feeling lucky it's going to go through do the entire rewriting process on its own once it's done it's done you can grab the content 
take this article here that's in spin tax post it into your favorite tool whatever you're using or you can create a unique version from here and you're done that's it so that's how fast it is to use spin rewriter this is the one tool that we've been using for years with our our agency and and we continue to use it especially for many of our YouTube videos and we do any kind of promotions with those or if we do mass page sites uh, we like to use this kind of content for that as well so but overall spin rewriter in my opinion is well worth the investment I'm not sure I know there's a spin rewriter 9.0 that's going to be coming out here soon I think in October 2018 and I'm I don't know if there's going to be any huge changes made to this tool there hasn't been any uh, huge changes made over the time that I've been using this there's been little things added here and there but but it's it's been pretty much the same tool the same thing um, ever since I started using it but they are always upgrading it they're always um, kinda seeing how users use the tool so it'll it'll work better for you so I guess those are the kind of the improvements that they've been making to it but they are relaunching it in October and if this is something that you're going to be using a lot if you need a lot of content I do highly recommend it so you can check it out the links are under this video and you can go there and learn more about it uh, see if maybe they have free trials and stuff I know once in a while they do offer those so this has been Chris from affiliate tube I hope you guys enjoyed the spin rewriter review